what's up guys welcome to my channel a lasting beauty in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you eight of my favorite self-care products I guess you can call it this could also be kind of a monthly favorites video which I haven't done in such a long time but I'm just gonna be sharing with you eight of my favorite products I guess most of these have to do with like self-care like physical care um, and then I have one thing that's kind of a random but really great thing that I wanted to share with you I'll just get started and sharing some of my favorite things with you right now so something that I personally have issues with sometimes is falling asleep at night and like um, I've been trying to get in a better routine of not just like sitting in my bed on my phone um, but more of like reading and just like relaxing before going to bed so I can fall asleep somewhat at a decent time. So um, what I wanted to share with you is something that I've been doing a lot, which is spritzing some like lavender water just on my bed, like on my pillow and onto my sheets. This is just a lavender oil by Young Living. Um, also, I'll put a link to all of the products that I can find in the description box below in case you're interested in checking any of them out. But basically, I just fill this bottle majority with water, put a few drops of oil in there um, and it just makes a nice little lavender mist that I can spray on my bed and it's great it makes me feel more calm and just more relaxed before going to I realize that there's quite a few Burt's Bees products that I'm going to be talking about I have been trying to get into finding more like natural products just to be more aware of the chemicals and things that I'm putting on my body especially because I have sensitive skin so it just makes me feel better when I see things like natural and organic when I'm putting them on my skin. This is actually a face mask that I just picked up. I haven't actually used it yet, but I've been really into face masks. And this one says 99% natural. And I used a face mask last night that was from like the Yes To Something brand and it was like a coffee mask and I loved it. I got it for my birthday and I'll put a link to that one in the description box as well because I really did like it and my face was feeling great this morning and there was no breakouts. So praise. I have a feeling that this one's not going to make me break out either and I'm just super excited to try it so I wanted to include it in this video. Another Burt's Bees product are these makeup wipes. I usually don't use makeup wipes. I like to just use my typical skincare routine, which is a lot of Clinique products. These have been some of my favorites that I've ever used. I usually have issues with makeup wipes like burning my eyes. Like has anyone else had that issue or is it just me? These say exfoliating facial cleansing towelettes with peach and willow bark. They do smell really good. Next item is a deodorant and this one also says natural deodorant. I've actually seen another YouTuber talk about this one and I was like, yes, I don't really know any other people that use it. This is a lavender and sage deodorant by Schmitz and it smells really good. It smells like lavender. It kind of has an interesting texture to it, not gonna lie. It kind of felt like sandpaper the first time that I used it, but I started to get more used to the feeling of it. I said sandpaper. It's not, it's not as bad as it sounds. Works really, really well. This is a very lasting deodorant. It's a little bit more on the expensive side because I want to say I paid like $10. It lasts like I don't smell the whole day when I use this. Next thing that I want to share with you is a toothbrush. So guys, I never used an electric toothbrush before in my life. Like I think I've always just used a standard regular like $2 toothbrush. And then my sister is a dental hygienist and she became an ambassador for this particular toothbrush and it has literally like changed my life. Like that sounds ridiculous, but seriously it has. Like I've never been so excited to brush my teeth at night and in the morning um, until now. This is a burst toothbrush and I stinking love it. It comes in a few different colors. I picked the Y one just because I like the simplicity of it. Um, it has a few different vibrating settings. Like there's such delicate bristles on it and it really cleans your teeth so well. It also comes with a little portable charger um, that you just like set it in. And I kid you not, I've had this thing for several months now and I think I've only had to charge it maybe twice. Amazing. If you've ever seen the videos where they have a corn cob and then they have like stuff all on it and then they like clean the corn and it like completely cleans it, that's this brush right here. And kind of relating to a toothbrush as well is some toothpaste. So I just started using this one. I say just started using it, it's like kind of empty. But I used it for the first time starting about a month ago and this is a Burt's Bees Purely White fluoride free toothpaste in Zen Peppermint and I just really like this toothpaste and there's not too much to say about this other than I feel like it really does clean my teeth well. One of the bad habits that I personally have is picking at my cuticles like it's 
it's bad. Like when I stress out, I pick at my cuticles. Um, and sometimes I do it without even realizing it. I saw this at the store and I thought that maybe it would help me to kind of overcome that bad habit that I have. And this is a Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. So it's just this little dish of it's kind of slippery right now because I just used some and it's on my fingers it smells so good I love all things lemon that's part of the reason why I wanted to try this out and just taking that extra couple minutes out of my day to put this on my cuticles it just helps me to pamper them to um, also remind myself to not mess with them so if you're someone who has a bad habit of picking at your cuticles or picking at your nails um, I would suggest maybe trying something like this to just kind of remind yourself to not bother them and then it makes you not want to mess them up at least that's how it's been for me last thing I wanted to share with you is this book right here it's called it's not supposed to be this way you've maybe heard of it before it is by Lisa Turkhurst who is also someone you might have heard before she is a women's pastor a pastor in general. She is amazing. I have really, 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 really been enjoying reading this book. And so what this book is about, it says it actually right here at the bottom. It says, finding unexpected strength when disappointments leave you shattered. So it just helps you process difficult things in life. And I think that it really helps us to, to form a, a more solid foundation for when storms do come because that is something that we are all guaranteed to face in life is some sort of a storm or multiple storms. So as Christians, it is important for us to have a solid foundation. And this book just came out at the right time for me and has been such an encouragement. So that is all the products that I have to share with you in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Have a blessed day and remember that your worth is far above rubies. Bye y'all.